When I open the shop in the morning, I think to myself, well, you know, who are we going to come across today? Um, it's always nice to see the, the old loyal customers that have been coming in here a long time, but it's, it's always lovely to meet new customers. I think the big thing for Cambrian is being involved, especially socially, when we do the events. And it's always nice to be part of the customer's photographic journey. One of our customers that's bought the GFX from us is Dennis Hocking. The proof of the pudding with any um, supplier relationship is, is if the relationship extends beyond the simple supplier. And with Cambrian, um, that has absolutely been the case. And now we're changing to a different camera uh, manufacturer um, in the knowledge and confidence that our photography will move forward. The GFX was something I, I stumbled into. The camera for me is just a tool in the overall creative process that takes you from you know, pre-visualization through ultimately to a print or something that you put on the net. Um, and as a tool, it's got to work for you. Um, and, and equally, if you can get an emotional connection to it, so much the better. And my wife says, and quite simply, if you don't feel it, don't shoot it. And, and that applies to the scene, but it also applies to whatever you've got in your hand. I started to investigate the GFX, which was fatal, because the more I investigated, the more I researched, the more I liked what I read and what I saw. In the end, I got my hands on one and tried it. The net result was that I actually sold one of my Sonys and bought the GFX. My background in, in, in uh, photography um, is something like eight years in, in, in duration. And it started from me uh, supposedly retiring and my wife actually uh, getting me out of the house uh, by buying me a camera um, that I didn't know how to use and sending me on a one week workshop in, in, uh, in Yorkshire in the middle of winter. Whilst uh, I will shoot the big views, um, I prefer the intimate landscape, the abstractions, the things that provide mystery in the landscape, that make people look and think, not where was it necessarily, but what is it? And, and not only what is it, but isn't it beautiful? We look for things that are soft and subtle, not highly saturated, uh, sometimes black and white, but more often not uh, soft pastel colours. Um, something that's soothing, calming, and hopefully that is reflected back onto us and we become soothed and calmed as well as a result of it. The GFX is no doubt a game changer in the world of digital medium format. It appeals to the professional and amateur photographer alike. The quality Fujifilm are renowned for throughout their range can definitely be felt in the GFX and its pin sharp lenses. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind that the camera just feels so right when sat in the palm of your hand. Just how the touch screen works and tilts for portraits. All the controls and the positioning on the body are quite simply just in the right place. To see the phenomenal quality that the GFX produces, you need to print from it and print it big. That's when you really see this camera truly come into its own. Another one of our customers is David Edwards. The type of photography I do, I'm, I, I suppose you would class me as maybe a generalist. Um, I do commercial product photography and that went to lifestyle and then it's gone into fashion and editorial work. Um, I like working with people in the performing arts. Um, I love shooting dancers, but I, I love portraiture as well. I love um, being able to delve into someone's soul um, and extract that. And it's not just picture taking. It's you know, it is imagery at its highest level portraiture. I initially thought that the X-T2 was the camera for me and I switched from um, full frame DSLR to the X-T2 and I enjoy the X-T2, it's a great camera. Um, but when the um, medium format came out with Fuji, I thought, you know, I've got to have a little look at this. It's a seamless transition from the X-T2 over to the GFX. Everything's in the same place. No system's perfect, but you know, it's darn close to it, darn close. 
The shoot today um, was an interesting shoot and that worked well. We chose the back streets of Liverpool, we chose parts of the, the park below the Anglican Cathedral. My main lens is the 32 to 64, which um, is a great lens. I'm traditionally a prime shooter. So a zoom lens for me is a bit of an anathema, um, but one that I was actually willing to, um, to take on board the advice from, from Damien Lovegrove. He said it would be my best friend and he's not wrong, it's a great lens. The only, the only other lens I'm looking at is the 110 um, millimetre f2. It allows me to get compression on the image, it's great separation, great bokeh, and it was just the ideal lens for an ideal moment. I didn't have enough reach with the 32 to 64 to be able to do that, and it showed me that the 110 is the lens that I actually need to complete what I've got at the moment. To help promote the GFX, we've held a number of events where our customers have had a chance to handle the camera in real-world scenarios outside of the display cabinet. The Touch and Try days and the GFX Experience days with Fujifilm X photographers, Damien Lovegrove, Wayne Johns and Paul Sanders have been a massive success for us. We've also held our own demonstration days here on our doorstep in the stunning surroundings of North Wales, including a day at Surf Snowdonia. But of course, we will be holding many more of them in the future. <laughs>